I want to take you back to the year, I think 2006, Bakugan originally released in Canada and Japan right before the United States. So I was one of the first few kids to really get into Bakugan. I remember, like, I think this was in the summer before heading into grade 5, they kept on playing the Bakugan trailer on Teletoon. And I was, like, super excited for it, even though I barely knew anything about it. And then eventually, I'll get the toys. And now, I was really into Bakugan for the better part of a year. And while a year doesn't seem like that much time, when you're, like, 9 years old, 9, 10 years old, one year is a pretty big chunk of your life to be dedicated towards something. So, I was into Bakugan, and eventually I got a bit older. And I got into Beyblade instead. So my interest in Bakugan changed. But I still had those toys. And I, they meant a lot to me. Eventually one day they went missing. And for the life of me. I could not find my old Bakugan. Wherever I looked. And so I kept looking when I was in middle school. Eventually I went to high school. And when we moved houses. I was like okay. I'm going to find my Bakugan. But then I couldn't find it. You lost it. It sounds like they got kidnapped or something. It did. They probably did get kidnapped because in 2015, the Bakugan reboot was announced. Well, not announced. It was like soft announced to investors. So I was... 2015, yeah. I didn't know that So, yeah, I was 18 years old. I was like, you know what? I want to look for the Bakugan again. So I looked all over the garage and I could not find it. And I came to the conclusion that I will never be able to find them because my brother's friend probably stole it. He doesn't believe it, but I do. He used to hang out with some ruffians back in the day. And I swear, there's no way I could have lost Ooh, all those... ruffians play Bakugan, okay? Maybe the <laughs> yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe uh, seven-year-old ruffians play Bakugan. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I could not for the life of me find them, and I just, like, they're gone forever. And because of that, there's a small hole in my heart <laughs> that, is, that is missing that needs to be filled with the OG Bakugan. And even though the Bakugan reboot happened, it has its own vibe and whatnot, so it's not really the same thing. They just, they just have the same, like, premise. And now we fast forward to last week, or a couple weeks ago... And Adam from the Overground YouTube channel, I'll post a link or whatever, he contacts me saying he came across a bunch of Bakugan, classic Bakugan, and wanted to send it to me. So that piqued my interest, so of course I said, yeah, I mean, uh, he's a friend of my friend, so we're essentially friends already. And uh, so, uh, I yesterday, I got this giant box that can't even fit the frame. And it's filled with a bunch of classic Bakugan. I, I took a little peek, but I did not see everything in there. And I want to go through everything that I got with you guys in this video. So yeah, this. sorry for the very long intro, but I needed to give some background information. So let's just go through everything that I got. Alright, so first things first is uh, this OG Bakugan tin. And there's a... Little guy over here, and as you can see, I think this is uh, Laser Man. Oh, this is not Laser Man. This is someone else. I forgot his name. He looks like Laser Man in Toy Fun, but Laser Man is different. Uh, she. What is this guy? It's in the top tip of my tongue. I know what this guy is, but yeah, as you can see, these are the OG G1 or B1 Bakugan from way back in the day, and I think there's some. Newer ones too in there, but like from the original series. But yeah, I am absolutely shook. And here we got this original tin of Bakugan with all the characters in it, and wow! And all the there's a bunch of Bakugan here standing up over here as well. And I believe this is a Pyrus Naga. Right over here. See, this was a this is a newer one, and this is the original one. The original ones they were a, a lot smaller, so it was crazy seeing how small these original ones were. Because I mean, like I'm so used to the new Bakugan Battle Planet ones, and the last time I held these were like when I was a little kid. So now that I've grown up, it's crazy to see how how small these were. And here we go. We got another. 
another laser man. That's not a laser man. I forgot his name. Uh, let me, let me. All right, this one, this one, these ones are called Robitalian. I, they, they look so. I mean, they're they're technically like I swear like they're related to, uh, laser man because they look so similar. But yeah, this is Robitalian. But man, I, I, I gotta say I'm incredibly shook on like seeing all these Bakugan because I mean these are Bakugan that that came out even after I was interested in Bakugan when I was a kid. Like these ones, I have no idea which ones these are. Like Wyvern, Naga. Uh, this one kind of has like the style of the new Pegatrix Ultra. But like I'm gonna probably know most of the names of the original guys, like these guys, these classic Bakugan. But yeah, man, like we have this whole tin over here. I was gonna go through one by one which guys we got, and over here we have another G1, and this is oh, we got a Centipod, I believe this name is Centipod. Wow, I remember I had a darkest version of this when I was a little kid. And then we have oh we have <laughs> we have a griffin without the wings, but I I think there was another one there I looked at. So I I went through the little tin, but I haven't gone through everything. And then <laughs> look at that, a darkest golem. These guys have such a unique look to them because I mean, look how small these are. You know you can't you have to be very creative to figure out how to create a little character with these little Bakugan toys. Nowadays the Bakugan are much bigger, so you have a lot more things that you can do with them. And here's another bigger Bakugan. Oh, is this another Tigrera? This looks like Tigrera, but may perhaps it's an evolution of Tigrera. Tigrera, Tigrera. Wow. This is like a Ventus one. Oh yeah, and Ventus was like green, turquoise, like it was like blue or something. Oh, there you go. I think this is Serp Serpentoid, Serpentoid. I forgot, but like, wow, it's just rem remarkable. Just I I'm like speechless, honestly. Subterra, like the like this is Subterra. Subterra is like long dead now, but like back in the day. It was one. It was like one of the main factions, and then there we go. We got Aquas Reaper. Wow. Two hundred fifty Gs. I think two hundred fifty Gs was the lowest these Bakugan can go into back in the day. I I think it was like four fifty the five hundred or four fifty the max it can be in the original series, and then two fifty was how. Uh, was how low they can be, and then this is like Reaper. No, wait, this oh, that's not Reaper. This is Terra Claw. I think this is Terra Claw. Maybe. Wow, this one's five thirty G. So I think okay, this is like the Reap. Re, I think this is like the second iteration of B one. The first iteration of B one had the magnets open, which was one, which was the ones that I had when I was a little kid. Because I mean, I was like one of the first people to get into Bakugan, so. It was before the worldwide release. It was just Japan and Canada. And speaking of uh, of Laser Man, here is actual the real the real Laser Man. And even though the the B powers are much lower in these series, eventually the lower B powers got overpowered because uh, they had cards that essentially made lowest B power wins, which kept your Bakugan from being outclassed. Oh. Here we go. We got uh, Falconeer. I believe his name is Falconeer. Wow. I remember one of my first Bakugan was uh, was like a I think a Pyrus Falconeer because I was a I was a kid, so I like Dan Dan the most, and Dan had red Bakugan, so I got red Bakugan. And oops, I dropped the Bakugan. But uh, here we go. Here is another Griffin. This this one's really pretty. It has like a gold painting on it. And it's it's crazy to think that these are like these are from these are probably like from two thousand seven two thousand eight so they're just really old and now this one looks familiar if I can get it open but we know who this guy is just from the way that the the horn is like this can I can I get him open <laughs> wow I really gotta oh there we go there he is the OG. 
the original. Oh, let me. There we go. The original Dragonoid. This was like. This is just. This you can. I, I'm at a loss for words seeing the original Dragonoid in my hands. Like. I never thought the day would come when I would see this. I'd have this back again again. 450 G's like the like the highest it can go at least at that time I'm just I just can't believe it look at that Zion Blair Jr. What do you think about this the original Dragonoid? Very nice. How do you compare this Dragonoid to the new Dragonoid the chunky one? Kind of the same. Yeah, it's supposed to be, right? So. Yeah, this is this is just beautiful and we have and this is just like the first row of a Bakugan that are in this tin you have a lot to go through. But, uh... And then we have this guy. What is this guy? Oh, this is, um... The Evolution of Skyrus. This is part of B2. This is a B2 Skyrus. Storm Skyrus. That was her evolution. Wow. It, it's it's so... It, it, it's so interesting to see that... Like, these two types of Bakugan existed around the same time. Like, th this is so much smaller. It, apparently, the the size difference isn't that different. But, like, it, it just feels, like, completely different, you know? Like, these feel more sleek. Sleek and uh, cool looking. The, this one feels a bit more blocky compared to the original B1 ones. And then next we have... Oh, who's this guy? This guy looks interesting. Oh, is this, a, is this another golem? Like an evolution of golem? This one has like a little push thing that it does. So I, I don't. I think this is. I don't know if this is from the original series, but it looks like golem. And then we have another uh, newer, bigger one too. And this one is. Oh, and this is Darik, Derek. This is from uh, Mectanium Surge, I believe. This is that's the third series. Wow, and this is like a, a I think th no, this is Chaos, right? Let me double check because this is Subterra. No, yeah, this is Chaos. Yeah, because because now the Chaos has like a white kind of look, and these ones are like you know a bit more grayish. And then, oh snap! Oh, is this Naga? <laughs> I, I swear, I'm just going to keep calling dragon-looking Bakugan that I don't think are dragon or just Naga. It's like, oh, is this Naga? Is that Naga? But yeah, but look at these. The original Deca Bakugan. And does it will it open from the magnet? I don't think so. Oh, what the heck? It's like a Pokeball. What is... What is this? What? That's, is this like a build... Like something that you build or something? I think this is like a combiner or something. Oh, there we go. I don't think I know who this guy is. I think this is from Mictanium Surge as well. Because we got another one over here. Yeah. I think these are these might be McDonald's toys, probably. Oh, this is, this is, yeah, I think these are McTain's here, because this is Derek, but his head's, like, stuck in over here, because I think this, these are actually McDonald's toys, probably. Are they McDonald's toys? They sold back guns at McDonald's? They're like a... Let's see. Yep, these are McDonald's toys from 2010. Interesting. I thought these were Dekabakugan. I was like, oh, they made small Dekabakugan back in the day. But these, no, these are McDonald's toys. These are pretty cool. They're a nice gimmicky kind of McDonald's toy for the kitties to have. And now I can feel around. I can see we're back to the B1 Bakugan. Or maybe not. We have this... Wow. It's like a Diamond Bakugan. I don't, I don't know what they called them back in the day. Were they not Diamond Bakugan? What were they called back then? And this guy is wow. It has the same style as um, Robotalian, but 
this one has its looks a bit different yeah because uh, th this is probably from I think this is also from Mectanium Surge then right I'll, I've only seen uh, a couple of B2 gener B2 season 1 Bakugan and uh, some other one here's another small one I think this is Juggernoid Juggernaut Juggernoid yeah I remember this guy I had a Darkest one and a Ventus one back in the day. I, I remember just like doing this a lot. Yeah, this guy was one of my one of the one of my more favorite ones to just play around with. Just close and open up again. Man, this this just brings so many memories, and I'm and I'm so so thankful, and, and it's so cool to just be able to share with you guys. Just going through all these Bakugan. <laughs> there we go. This is this is definitely Tigrera, Tigrera. So I guess that other one was just another uh, faction of Tigrera. I don't know where I put her. Well, she's somewhere. She's somewhere. All right, and here is another darkest Bakugan. And wow, I wonder what this guy is. He does look like something from Titanium Surge because he looks very. Uh, metallic, like a, like a very robotic-looking uh, Bakugan. Well, they had robotic-looking Bakugan in the original series, but I just feel because it's not something that I know, and it's a robot that they that it's from the original. It's from the Mctanium Surge, and here's another Dragonoid-looking dude. And look how high the B power's got: seven hundred eighty B power. I think uh, nowadays, like I'm saying, oh, that's a lot, but nowadays we've like ex exceeded that amount of Bakugan. But yeah, these are all the Bakugan from the tin. But this isn't even half of it. So let's get to the next part. Ironically, the tin can probably hold more Bakugan without these little paper things that keep it from opening it up. But yeah, I, that's just a little thing I wanted to look at because I, I was just moving the Bakugan around so I have more space to open them. Now we got a, we got a few of these Bakugan clips... Now, I think these Bakugan clips came out before I was uh, really into Bakugan. Um, they came out after I was really into Bakugan. And we also have an original carrying case, which is so, so cool. I'm trying to feel around to see if we have any more uh, cases or anything. There's just a bunch of miscellaneous accessories that I wanted to go through. All right, I think this, these are enough accessories. Now, this this thing, I don't know. This is like a launcher, perhaps? I remember seeing something like this. I remember we had like the, the hand launcher that they use in the show where they shoot out the Bakugan with their hand. We also have this original Bakugan battle, which can't even fit the screen. But yeah, this is like the OG... OG one. Let's go through this case first. Then we'll go through the back gun and the back clips. Oh, we got some cards as well. And I think these are also Mectanium Surge back gun as well. We got this open guy, which looks like a samurai kind of guy. Yeah, this is definitely Mectanium Surge. I I, I opened a couple Mixtanium Surge uh, blind boxes, blind bags, and they have the same style of Darkest Bakugan. So this is probably that as well. Is that an orangutan? I don't even know what, what to think of this. This is like, this is way out of my uh, pay scale. I don't, I don't know what this it's is. The thing. The thing. Yeah, I, I think this is like one of those like Does it pop combiner up? stuff. I don't, I think you attach them together or something. Are these like Bakugan gears? Uh, I have no idea. Like these are traps or something? Or then here's another one. This is just like I think these are like uh, gears. You know where you attach them to your Bakugan and you boost up the stats and everything. And then uh, we got some cards over here. Let's look at them real quickly. I think these are from 2009. So these are either from Mectanium Surge or from uh, New Destroyer. This from 2009 as well. Look at that. 
Some of them are some of them are metallic. Some of them are gate cards and some of them are just action cards. So it's very cool to see this stuff. Like I because th this stuff came out after I was uh playing. I was I was in I was a part of that the original game where it's just like the gate cards you rolled them on the gate cards and that's it. These ones are include the ability cards as well. Oh here that's the gate that's the uh thing that we had. Air core. Interesting. Chompix. Boomix. G power up. Look at that. That looks like uh, something from Aliens. Change Dragonoid. Wow, these are just so cool. It, it, it it's so it's so surreal seeing all of this stuff in in the flesh. Now we have like an OG Bakugan card. And we can just. Oops. Well, that's one way to open it. And here we have what is this? Oh wow! I think this is also from Mctanium Surge. This looks really cool. One of his eyes is okay. There we go. You can see both of his eyes now. Wow. I'm sure someone knows what these Bakugan are. This one looks like a ninja. This is probably like some kind of like like a ninja gun or something. Yeah, I know. I know the older ones. These ones are a bit newer. This one looks like a falcon. What is it called? Falconoid or something? Probably is. I don't know. And then this one reminds me, like, wow, look at that. These are just so... Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. That guy's got a big head. It's average. Let's put this away, and now we gotta look at these clips. These look pretty cool. Did people just go around, walk, like, walk around with these clips on? This was probably this... Whoever who owned this before, this was probably their main team or something. Oh, there we go. There's Storm, uh, Storm Skyrus again. We got a Subterra. Oh, I, I, this guy looks familiar, but I don't know who he is. He looks like a jet plane. And we got, oh, I think this is, this is from New Vestroia, I think. I feel like these are from New Vestroia or they're from B2. Because they, they look very familiar. But I think these are the Bakugan that showed up after I stopped watching the original series. Because I only watched the original series up until the point Storm Skyrus and uh, Delta Dragonoid showed up. And, oh snap, I know who this guy is. I think this guy's name is Diablo, which is the evolved form of uh, Preus. Wow. Eight, 800, was it? No, 510. So yeah, they were like, the numbers were bumping up. Right, right then and there. But it's cool to see. Oh, there we go. We got another Storm Skyrus. So apparently back in the day, uh, if you wanted like competitive Bakugan, you'd have to buy multiples of the same Bakugan because the B powers were, or G powers back then were randomized. Can you explain how this works? Uh, I have no idea how that works. I think it's a launcher or something. But first, let's see what this Bakugan is. This Bakugan is... Spider-Man. Oh, this looks like a falcon, falconoid, falcron. <laughs> so I think. Oh, is it, you put it like that and then shoot it out, or? No, I don't think that's. Hey, Mr. Bakugan expert, what the heck? No, it's not. Oh, I think these are just too big for it. Let me uh. Let me pull out something. Let me get a smaller Bakugan. Alright, we got our trusty old uh, serpent, serpent teeth, I don't know, serp, serpentoid. Okay, there we go, this one fits, and then... There you go. Okay, so these ones work with the B1 back again. That's actually pretty, uh, this actually feels really cool to use, actually. Because you can focus more on aiming than actually just throwing it. Yeah. But look at this, this is a twisty guy, look at that. Eggman. Yeah, this is um the evolved form of one of the main characters in the, I think the Subterra form, and I think these ones did not change their attribute. Only uh, Preus did. And then here we have another version of the uh, holder. These ones actually look a bit better. Yeah, I feel like these ones are a bit better than the other ones, but they still look 
cool. And who's this guy? Let's see. I don't know who this one is. I mean, because it's not open, but let's... Uh, Open Sesame. Where where do I open this guy? Uh, over here. There we go. Oh, this is um. Shoot, I know this one. This is like a scorpion guy. Well, not a scorpion guy. Is this Sting Slash? I think this is Sting Slash. It looks very familiar to Sting Slash. And I think this is another Sting Slash as well. Yeah, two Sting Slashes. I think this person was a fan of Sting Slash. Or I guess they were just really both strong back again. And then we have a B2. This guy looks like a... Wow, these this is actually kind of creepy. What the heck? Let me... If they can stop fighting each other yet. All right. Look at that face. What in the world? That's scary. Three eyes, like a Reggie, like one of those Reggie bat Pokemons. Oh shoot, this looks, just looks like a devil. What is this, devil noid or something? I'm sure the moms liked that back in the day. Jeez. Mothers against Bakugan. So that's how you get those on your case right there. What happened? Oh no, it's just like a devil looking Bakugan. Oh. Like three eyes and fangs and everything. Do you agree with this? Bakugan is 2012. Unos excelente Bakugan con batale incredible y en juego. I don't know. That was Bakugan 2020. Team's Bakugan. All right, we got it. We got some. We got. We still got. I think we're like halfway through, but we still got lots of Bakugan to look at, especially Bakugan that are in the B1 series. <laughs> just a gun. I don't know how you how you use. It. This is just a gun. What the heck? <laughs> All right, we got a couple little uh, B2 Bakugans in these baggies, which we'll look at. This one has metal on it. Wow, look at that. This is probably this was probably released when Bakugan Metal Fusion came out, because Bakugan Metal Fusion I think really took um, a lot of the stride that back that the original Bakugan series was having, because it was just big competition. Look at this guy over here. Wow. Is this a hydronoid or something? This not I know it's not the main hydronoid, but like it's like six heads. What is this Bakugan? Wow. I, he looks familiar. This, this Bakugan looks familiar. A lot of these Bakugan look familiar, but it's hard to put like if they're not part of like the B one like if they're not originally from the original lineup of Bakugan, it's hard for me to remember who they are. Wow, this one looks cool. <laughs> A lot of these backing on, it just seems like the little figure guy in here, and it's just like a little capsule that that they're popping out of, rather than like the some B one backing on, like Dragonoid, where it's like, oh, the backing on is the backing on itself, not like a little monster inside a capsule. All right, and who do we? I think this is another Sting Slash. Yeah, this looks like another Sting. Yeah, this is definitely a Sting Slash. This guy had a lot of Sting Slashes. I think he was this person, and there we go, another Diablo, Diablo, uh, Prius. Wow. Apparently, uh, a lot of people used to buy multiples of the same Bakugan so that they can get a higher uh, B power or G power number. Uh, I haven't been really been showing the G power, so I hope you guys weren't like pausing the video, like, oh, I need to see the G power. Um, and who is? Is this Dragonoid? I think this is Dragonoid. Vortex Dragonoid from Mictanium Surge. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. Oops. Jumped into the guy and it's... Oh, this is a uh, this is a Laser Man. So we've got a B2 Laser Man as well. That's cool. We have both the original and the updated one. And I think this is another... Yeah, there we go. Darkest... Uh... Wow, we just have a lot of these uh, guys, man. And this is like one of the main character Bakugan as well. That's so, so cool. And oh my goodness, guys. It's, it's, there's just so many Bakugan in this little bag. It, it's just like this little, uh, this bag is just filled to the brim with Bakugan. And there's just Bakugan spilling out in the box. Like, 
I'm gonna sound like one of those 3 a.m. video, 3 a.m. videos, like guys, guys, guys. But like, there's just so many gosh darn Bakugan here, man. I'm, I'm just crazy. And look, the, I remember this card. This is one of the OG, like HSP. This is like the OG uh, Bakugan card. 2006. I was nine years old. I had these. You, you, don't, you don't have no idea how like excited like this. This all feels like a dream. Like I was dreaming that I'd find my old collection, and I, and then someone just and then freaking the overground guy has just sent it to me. Like I'm, I'm just astonished. And here's another gear. Which I don't even know how they attach this to the Bakugan. Like how does that even work? But first we'll look through these little straggler Bakugan in this box before we get to this huge bag over here. Um, starting off with a Mictanium Surge. I think I actually pulled one of these guys in those blind boxes. Then we have, uh, over here, I think this is another B2 Bakugan. This is... I think this is also a Mictanium Surge as well. I don't see any new Vostroya Bakugan, though I could be missing them and not even realizing that I'm seeing them. And then, hey, we got Preus. Preus was so cool because it could change its faction depending on how it opened. I'm sure it was kind of annoying competitively because uh, uh, you'd want it to f get to the right one if you say he accidentally goes to like darkest and then you lose 50 B power. But look at that! I rem one of the last Bakugan that I ever bought was an Aquas Preus, and this is a Aquas Preus, I believe, um, but with a different coloring. And this is like the OG Preus, so this is just absolutely. Amazing that the getting an OG Bakugan. And then we have another Fear Ripper as well. This is a Chaos one, 300 B power. And then Golem, Golem. I actually never had a Golem Bakugan when I was a kid. I think they came out a bit after. I'm not sure, but I don't remember having one when I was a kid. And then we have oh, we got the original Masquerade Bakugan. Darkest Reaper before he uh spoilers get sent to the Doom Dimension for being too weak. 350 G's. This this is just a Oh wait. Is this is the real Sting Slash? And what was the other backyon that I was I think this is the actual Sting Slash. But I'm not sure what that other backyon was that I was looking at calling Sting Slash. Uh oh. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind. And we have a just a handful of little Bakugans over here. We have this translucent one. Actually, I'll put this for last. We have this. Oh, what? We got a Pyrus Fear Reaper. We got another Dragonoid. And, and I think this is Dragonoid. It went. <laughs> we got three Dragonoids. What in the world? What the heck? Three Dragonoids? Oh my goodness. And then we have this clear Bakugan. Which I don't even... Wow. Like what in the what in the world? My goodness. Gold and... Wow. How much B power is this? 350. I think 350 is good, right? Or I, I think people aimed for 400 or 450 back in the day. 400... Or sorry, G power. I keep calling it B power. Sorry. But I... Guys, this is just absolutely phenomenal I, I don't even know what to say and now we have this whole giant bag in here and just to make things even more wild we got a beyblade <laughs> there's just a beyblade in here and the engine gear just sealed just like a complete just seal all stickers and everything in it are you seeing this young Lear jr that's how you feel yeah that's how i feel like a silly shiba but just a, just a, just a Beyblade. <laughs> I don't even I don't know what's going on. All right, let's uh, we'll dig around the bag, and we got a Falconeer, Aquas Falconeer. One of the OGs. I remember having these a, a lot of Falconeers. They were pretty common back in the day. Oh snap! It's Darkest Dragonoid. Whoa! I think this one's uh, painted on. I don't remember it being. Red, but wow, another Dragonoid, and this one is, how many B powers? 250 Gs, sorry. That's probably why the guy painted it. Probably couldn't use it, but in like an actual game. But still wanted to... Oh snap, we got a clear Sting Slash, 450 Gs. 
Wow. I remember I had a couple, I think I only had one or two translucent uh, Bakugan from back in the day. They were pretty hard to come by. But they weren't as rare as, like, I think Diamond Bakugan are today. And we have a Centipod over here. Just, wow. These are B B1 Bakugan, guys. I'm just, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I keep saying I don't even know what to say. We got another uh, Robitalian, Heos Robitalian, 250 Gs. Yeah, I think these are all a B1 uh, second iteration back on. And what is this? Oh, snap! It's it's the OG Tig Tigrera, like in her original faction. What the heck? Wow. It, like, it's cool to get the forms, but then to also get them in their original faction is just like a cherry on top of a sundae. And what is this one over here? Oh, this is... Uh... Oh, this is one. This is the fish one. I forgot what the. This is the mermaid Bakugan that I forgot the name of. But my goodness gracious, we're just getting. And then here we go, another, another one, an, another Preus. This one, I think this is a Chaos. Just where is his faction? I think this is just a Chaos. Uh, Chaos. I'm mean, sorry, not Chaos. Ventus. Sorry, I keep forgetting because Chaos uses similar colors to the original Ventus now. Yeah, wow. I think did this person paint over the number. I don't know. But, jeez, Louise, this is just. Just getting so many classic Bakugan Sting Slash. Hey, Ventus Sting Slash. And then over here, we got another snaky guy. I think Serpenoid? Serpentine? Uh, someone's probably like really angry and uh, an arm is here. What the heck? Just an arm. Whose arm is this? <laughs> what is it doing here? And then we got, holy cow, what in the world is this? What? Hold, this is, this is the, this is a Skyrus, like the OG Skyrus with like these fancy colors. This is B1 Skyrus with like this marbling color. What the heck? In her original faction as well. This is just, what? God. As John Blair Jr., how do you feel about me just reacting to all these backing on me? Just... Like a back yeah, these are just like my childhood right here. I had this exact falconeer as a kid. Oh my goodness. I think I had like a falconeer. I had a dragonoid. I had a delta dragonoid as well. Like a sting. I don't think I have a, sting. I have a juggernaut, juggernoid back in the day. This is just... It, this is just like reliving my childhood. Like, this is like feeling... Like getting that part of my heart that was like empty. Because I lost... Someone stole my back gone. 300. Wow. There's, there's, there's just something different about these OG Bakugan. These are like the classics, guys. And another there's another Fear Ripper. No, no, Terror Claw. Sorry. Fear Ripper is the other guy. This is Terror Claw. And then we have Sting Slash again. A lot of Sting Slashes in here. Terror Claw as well. These are these were the very common back on back in the day, I believe. That's why there's so many of them in this person's collection. And this is like another Tigrera, I believe, like the evolution of Tigrera. Just this is like like look at the, whoa. oh my gosh, this is Dragonoid. This is a B two Dragonoid. What I didn't even wow. This is this is like a B two Dragonoid that has these fancy colors as well. Is this Pyrus? Yeah, this is Pyrus. What in the world? These are I think these are Pearl Bakugan. Pearl Pyrus Dragonoid? Over 500 B power? How high were the B powers getting to back in the day? Oh no, it is 600. 610 or something? Yeah, 610. Wow. This guys, I I'm I'm I i do not even know what I'm just like I'm just going with the flow, guys, but the flow is just taking me in a wild ride. Here we got another Griffin, Chaos Griffin. I think I had a Chaos Griffin like this as well. And I remember the wings used to get all funky like back in the day. When I was a kid, I would ha I would watch uh, episodes of Bakugan on the internet. And I would have my Bakugan watching it with me. I, just, I was just like so into Bakugan when I was, a, at, when I was like 9, 10 years old. It's just crazy. And here's another Golem. This is a Chaos Golem. I'm, I'm just... 
<laughs> another spin top. This is like the little spin tops my brother used to play with. Spin tops. Yeah. You got some nice, uh, just like. Wow. Here we go. We got another Griffin. This time a Chaos one. Just amazing. The the painting in these ones are actually really cool. Like they have like a little bit of glitter on them, and then another serpent. Oh, this one is green on it. I don't remember. I don't remember it being green. I remember it just being yellow. Do I have an? Okay, I guess it was green. The like Christmas colors, and then this one just like this looks like an Aurelis Bacchion. But I only this is what is this a Subterra? Yeah, no, this is what this is Chaos. What the heck? Hey, also gold, gold. What in the world is going on here? That. What are these colors, guys? These colors are something else. No way. What is this? A hydronoid? Yo, this is a hydronoid. This is Subterra, right? Subterra hydronoid. Wow. This is like the OG, OG hydronoid, guys. Five hundred six. Wow. This is even chomps. It has chomping action right here. Hey guys. Yeah. This is this is just amazing. My goodness. We got another uh, falconer. Ventus falconer. <laughs> and then we got another. Tigrera, this time we got an Aquas Tig Tigrera. Like, my goodness, guys. Like, whew, my gosh. There's just so many back. What is this? Holy cow, what is this? Oh, snap, look at that. Wow. It's like a gem. Centipod, what in the world? These, these pirates back here, and there's like there's some, there's like a few. Holy, <laughs> it's another dragonoid. This time, this dragonoid is all like, like shiny and everything. Ventus dragonoid. Here you go. We got another Robotalian, Chaos Robotalian. Guys, I I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> what? Sting slash. How many Bakugan are there? We're, we're like almost done, but still, it's just absolutely crazy just how many Bakugan there are in here in Delta Dragonoid. I had a, I think when I was a, holy shoot. This is Pyrus. This is a Pyrus Delta Dragonoid. I thought this was Subterra. What's with the colors? Wow. Holy cow. This is Pyrus. <laughs> what in the world? Why does Pyrus look like Subterra? Or like Aurelis? What? Holy. There's another Aquas. There's another Dragonoid. I remember I had ver uh, I had an Aquas Dragonoid as well when I was a kid. I had an Aquas one. I had a Pyrus one. I, don't, I think I just had an Aquas and Pyrus one. Because I really like the color blue. And there we go. Wow. A B1. Darkest uh, Skyrus. Look at that. I'm sure people are interested. What are the G's? It's 400 G's. Oh, snap! This one actually has the uh, magnet open. Oh, shoot. There's a couple of them. These, oh, shoot. There are actually a couple of these guys that have open magnets on them. Oh, snap. There's actually quite a few. Okay, this one doesn't, but like... This... I didn't... Wow, so th this, these ones are legitly, legitly from 2006. These are like the OG Bakugan right here. I wasn't even paying attention to all of this. I wasn't even paying attention. A lot of these Bakugan have like... See, look. Here is the second iteration. Here's the original iteration. Both the same Bakugan. But like... But these ones have... The little magnet up, like facing out. I think there's like some kind of like health issue or something. Like kids can't play with magnets or something. I don't know. They suck on them. That's oh, really? Look at that. another uh, gem right over here. We have two of these. Two of these gem like Bakugan. Two of these gem like centipods right over here. 
Which one's stronger? This one has like 350 G power. And then this one has 350 as well. Must have been a shame of this because I know people apparently people bought multiples to get higher BG power. So imagine buying two and then them having the exact same G power. And then there's just like this little pig thing. What the heck? What is this from? Alright, we got another another uh Falconeer. I don't know, Falconeer is like one of my favorites, like from the OG series. It just gives me so many memories, because that was one of the first Bakion I ever had. And here we got another Sting Slash. Another Snakey Boy. Snakey Boy. Oh, snap, what is this? There's another candy-like. Ooh, look at that. Fear Ripper. Darkest gem. I don't, I, what, I don't even remember what they called it back in the day. What is this? Oh, snap. Look at that. I forgot what this guy's name is, but I remember his name. Oh, snap. There's another Darkest Dragonoid? What? Another Darkest Dragonoid? And this one's not even painted, too. So this is like the OG. This is, we, have a, we just have a handful of backing on left. But guys, this is... You gotta be serious. You gotta be kidding me. This is a a pearl, aquas pearl, uh, Prius guy. Uh, I am. I have no idea what to even say. I'm just like in absolute shock. And here's another. <coughs> there's another uh, hydronoid here. Yeah, both Subterra hydronoid. This one's B one, and then there's B two. My goodness, I think I had a, a I had a Subterra that was B1 Subterra back in the day. And then look at this. What in the world? This is this is Skyrus, shiny Skyrus. I don't even know. We got we got I got a couple more back again. We got a few more back in left. Here we go. Darkest Fear Ripper. I mean, sorry, Ravenclaw. Is it called Ravenclaw? No, it's not called Raven. It's called something. I forgot. Harry Potter. House. Yeah. Oh, snap. This is the first one. These are... Oh, uh, Sarasaurus? This is actually, like, the first Bakugan... Well, not this, it, this version of it, but this is, like, the first Bakugan that gets killed from, like, in Dan's team. Like, it, like the, the snake Bakugan that Masquerade uses just snaps his neck. And we have another... I think this is another snake Bakugan. Yep, there we go. Another snake gee Bakugan with the exposed magnet. I, I was surprised that there's... What is this? Like, a rock? I don't even know what this is. An eraser? I don't know. There's something there. Alright, and then here we go. Another a Chaos Preus. Guys, there's just so many backing on here. And then an Aquas Tigrera. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah! A Juggernoid. And then we got a couple more... Uh, Back again, what is this? This is, I think this is Golem? Yeah, Golem, Pyrus Golem. And the final, I think this is another Terra Claw. Oh. Wow, this guy is just stuck close. Nope, let me drop it on the floor. Wow, it's not even, I don't even know how to open, uh, I don't even know how to open this guy, he's just like stuck. He's gotta come on, get up, get up, my dude, get up, get up. He is just not getting up. Wow, he's just stuck in there. I don't have to do a quick. Uh... All right, there we go. This is. I thought it was a uh, Fear Ripper. It's actually a uh, Laser Man. Four hundred fifty G is not bad, but yeah, look at that. I, I, I'm, I'm just. Absolutely shook. Now I gotta count all. I'm gonna count all these and see how many Bakugan we have right here. All right, I was so excited that I completely forgot to record an outro. And my goodness, there is 116 classic Bakugan, and most of them are B1 Bakugan. And I'm just absolutely astonished. I'm incredibly thankful to Adam from the Overground. Like. I, I could not even dream of something so great. Like, this is 
like probably one of the the, the best things anyone has ever uh, given to me you know aside from you know the, the gift of life but like i i just can't i'm at a loss for words as you can see from the whole video i'm just like it feels like in a dream um I, I just I just wanted to thank you so much and like even and all the people who watched this too like thank you for watching be sure to check out their YouTube channel uh, from the overground last time I checked they're like one of the best Digimon card game players in the world so uh, there, there's a, a lot of content about th that over there but yeah this has been uh, Zionic Blader and oh my I don't even know what to what to say but thank you but jeez Luis Oh yeah, here's a sheep.